Welcome. So we've got two time formats. The time that you see on the clock is analog time and the time that you would see on your digital watch or your digital clock is digital time. So those are the two time formats, analog time and digital time. Here are some important conversions, time conversions. One year is 365 days. One year also has 52 weeks. One year, we all know, is 12 months. All right, okay, and at the bottom, we've got uh, some more. One week uh, has seven days, and one day has 24 hours, and each hour has 60 minutes, and each minute has 60 seconds. And just remember, if you are converting forward, you multiply. If you're converting backwards, you divide. Okay, so here we've got uh, a calculation, time calculation example. Uh, let's go to the example. Nziga arrives to his school at 5 to 8. Just remember 5 to 8 we would write as 0. Uh, uh, 0, 7 and 55 minutes. Don't forget to write the 0 before the hour. Uh, so then 755 would be 07, comma, uh, call, uh, 255 minutes. If Nzika walked from his house for 23 minutes, waited for 18 minutes for the bus to arrive, and then walked the bus for 47 minutes, after which he then walked for 8 minutes from the bus stop to his school gate, and he arrived at school at 5 to Eight, and we can actually see that in the picture there when he arrives to school at 7.55. So the question becomes, what time did he leave home? What time did he leave home? So we can obviously uh, solve this problem. If we take the time he arrived at school and we minus all the other times uh, in between, we will get the time he left home. All right, so... Um, so we can just add all the times uh, that elapsed since he left home, starting with the 23 minutes, remember? There was 23 minutes, 18 minutes, uh, 47 minutes, finally 8 minutes from the bus stop to the school. So if you take your calculator and you add all those times, So the time that passed since he left home is 96 minutes, right? Remember, all of these times were in minutes. Now, before we can do the calculation, we need to break the 96 minutes into um, hours and minutes. All right, we know one hour is 60 minutes. So if we take 60 minutes from the 96, we can get one hour. And of course, if we minus... Uh, 60 from 96, we are left with 36 minutes. So that's the time that elapsed since Sika left home. So if we then take the time he arrived at school and we minus the time that passed since he left home, we can work out what time he left home. So 55 minus 36. 55 minus 36. Will give us 19 minutes and 7 minus 1 is obviously just 6 so that's the time Zika left home 19 minutes plus 6 all right the last example we're gonna do for this video also a calculation looking at time all right so let's go through this example if Aiden drives at an average speed of 120 kilometers per hour, that's the speed, calculate the time it will take him to travel from Johannesburg to Cape Town. And of course, uh, we know the formula for calculating time is distance over speed. 
Okay, so we need to calculate how long it will take. So this is the time to travel from Cape Town to Johannesburg. But this time must be in hours, minutes, and seconds. All right, so the first part, we just need to calculate the time. Let's do that. Uh, so if we are looking, remember we are looking at the distance. He's traveling from Johannesburg to Cape Town. So we need to use the table to find the distance from Johannesburg to Cape Town. So where Johannesburg meets Cape Town. So that's the distance that we are looking for. Uh, Cape Town meets Joburg. So the distance from Cape Town to Joburg is 1,402. Okay, so let's insert that into the formula. The distance we know from the table from Cape Town to Joburg is 1,402 kilometers. And the speed was given at the beginning of the question as 120 kilometers per hour. So the speed is 120 kilometers per hour. Let's work that out. If you don't want to put the distance over speed, you could also use divide. It's just up to you. All right, so this, the time is then 11, 6. And if we're going to write the time in minutes and seconds also, you should always round the time off to three decimal places so that you will be able to convert uh, the decimals to minutes and also to seconds. So it's 11, 83. Remember the kilometers cancel and the time is in hours. So we've got the time in hours, but the question wants us to write the time in minutes and seconds also. So what we do, the 11 is not a problem, it's a whole number. So we've got 11 hours, which is not a problem. And if we take away the 11 whole hours, we'll be left with 0, 0,683. So if we take the 11 whole hours, we are left with 11, comma, uh, sorry, 0, 0,683 hours. Now, of course, we want to change those to minutes because we must write our time in hours, minutes, and seconds. So if we take 0, 0,683 hours and times 60 to change those to minutes, we then get 11 hours plus 40,98 minutes. All right, so, so far we've got our time in hours and minutes, but we're not yet done because we must also write the time in seconds. And again, we don't have a problem. We've got 11 hours and 40, those 40 whole minutes are okay. So we've got 40 whole minutes plus What's left if we take the 40 whole minutes? We are left with 0, 0,98 minutes, right? And of course, we want to convert those to seconds. And one minute is 60 seconds. So we also multiply this by 60. So you go to your calculator, 0, comma. So this is 58.8, which we can just round it off to 59 uh, seconds. We can round off at the end because we've now got seconds, so we could just round off to a whole number at the end. So the 58.8, uh, we can round off to 59 seconds, right? And of course, we've got 40 minutes and 11 hours. So the time in uh, hours, minutes, and seconds is 11 hours, 40 minutes, and 59 seconds. All right, thank you.